Hi, I'm George from Realware. I'm here today at a low carbon energy park to use Realware and AI to report incidents faster than ever before. Traditionally, frontline workers would have to use pen and paper or mobile devices like tablets and phones. That's very, very difficult in environments like these. We've noticed some shading issues with these solar panels. So I'm gonna show you how to use AI to report these incidents faster and more efficiently than ever before. Incident report. I'm on solar panel string number six um, and there is an incident. It looks like a shading problem. Um, about three or four solar panels affected. So on here, I've now got uh, a, an AI generated report starting to build. So I talked to that in a very natural um, fashion. The AI is actually building out a more structured report for me. I'm now gonna go ahead and refine that incident so the AI can prompt me to ask the right questions. Refine. Answer question. Yeah, the shading's being caused by vegetation overgrowth. I'm gonna try and remove as much of it as I can, but it might be worth sending someone out professionally to, uh, to cater and manage that. So again, gone back to the AI, it's now reformatting that incident to be, again, more structured, but capturing the information as I've spoken to it in a, in a natural fashion. I'm gonna go ahead and add a photo, add some media into this as well, just to enhance the report. Take photo. And I'm actually going to use a, a thermal image here because it's a solar panel. Thermal camera. And as you can see there, the, the shading is, you know, very, very clear to see. Take photo. That's added the media to the report. Now I'm going to go ahead and send it. Send report. So within seconds of me sending that, that's now landed in my Microsoft Teams account. Um, as a PDF record, I'm now able to access that information when I get back to my desk. Also, that can be plugged into any service management tool like ServiceNow, Dynamics 365, or any other system of record. And on top of that, you could connect it to any API endpoint you really want to.